Ciao amici, benvenuti! Hi friends and welcome! I am so happy, sono così felice and why I'm so happy because this is my first Italian lesson yes today I'm starting my Italian course on this channel and I'm really really thrilled so you already know that on this channel I've got English courses German course courses I teach English and German language and also English and German literature but now I finally have the opportunity to teach my own language and this is awesome, okay? I love my language. I'm a writer in my country, I'm a writer, a published writer, and uh, I adore my own language and having the opportunity to, uh, to, to give you something about that is uh, so amazing for me. I've recently read that uh, uh, Italian is the fourth most studied uh, language in the world. That amazed me, actually, and uh, I hope that I can help you um, know something more about my language. I, I, I'll start explaining in English, obviously, because I start from the basics, okay? But then, step by step, we'll start uh, talking Italian together, I'm sure of it. So, first of all, we start together today with a very simple topic, but it's also the first thing we, you, you need, okay, when you meet an Italian person. So, you have to greet them, okay, to say hi, basically. How can we say that? So, let's start with a very simple question, uh, sorry, a very simple sentence, which is Ciao, io sono Sara. Ciao, io sono Sara. Ciao, io sono Sara. It means, hi, I am Sara. Io, I, is subject, sono, am, okay, I am, is verb to be. Sara is my name, obviously, <laughs> okay. So, the subject in this case it is not compulsory in Italian, it's, it's not necessary, so you can say ciao, Sono Sara without saying io, without saying I. It's perfect anyway. You can say either ciao, io sono Sara or ciao, sono Sara. It's perfect both ways. We'll see the verb to be, but for, for the first day, okay, it's fine if you just learn this, okay, to just learn to say hi and your name and who you are. Ciao is a very, very common uh, word, actually, but not as common as you think it is, okay, <laughs> because foreign people tend to use it a lot and think that we say that a lot, we do, but not as much as you think. Anyway, it's a great word. Um, it translates uh, hi, hello, uh, also good morning sometimes when we arrive, but we use it also when we go away, okay? So it also translates bye or goodbye, okay? This is important, we use it when we arrive and also when we go away. Uh, I have, you can see that under Italian words, I write, uh, I always write the um, same word in the phonetic alph alphabet, okay? So you can hear the word from me, okay? I've got a very plain accent. And, uh, and then you can write it down if you know the phonetic alphabet and so you can remember the correct pronunciation. Um, you may remember that in the phonetic alphabet we don't have only information about how to pronounce words, but also on the accent, where the accent is. So the accent is just before the syllable where the accent is, okay? In this case, ciao, it is at the very beginning of the, of the word because the accent is on the following vowel, okay? On the A ah in this case, ciao. This ch, ch, ch is a quite um, difficult sound sometimes. It's similar to the English ch, okay? Not exactly the same though. Uh, it's uh, more like, uh, okay, you have to put your tongue higher and say ch, ch, ciao, ciao, ciao. And vowels are very open in Italian. 
We don't have many vowels like um, the schwa, for example, so a, uh, ö. Uh. This is not very common, okay? We tend to have vowels. They can be open or closed, but they are no normally very well uh, pronounced, okay? The more difficult sounds uh, are concern consonants and not vowels, okay? Vowels are quite full, quite plain. So, ciao. Ciao, sono Sara. Ciao, io sono Sara. So great. But remember, ciao is a very um, informal uh, word. We use it uh, uh, when we know people very well, their friends maybe, friends, family or some, someone we, we really know well. But if you uh, get into a shop or office or wherever, you won't say ciao. Absolutely, it's not very polite. Uh, you may do that only if uh, the people you're talking to are very young. If they are teenagers or children, okay, then ciao is perfectly fine. But if they are adults, you won't say ciao, okay? You will use one of them. The first one, buongiorno, buongiorno, buongiorno. You may find it written like this or eventually in two words split into two words buon giorno divided into two words buon means good and giorno means day okay but attention this is not the same as good a good day okay because have a good day uh, first of all it's not very common and you use it uh, when you go away it's sort of a wish in this case, buongiorno means good morning or good afternoon. We have the specific words to say good morning and good afternoon, which are buona mattina, good morning, buon pomeriggio, good afternoon, but we really don't use them at all, so you can forget about that. You just remember buongiorno and you can use it from the morning uh, to, well, um, say late afternoon until 4 5 p.m., okay? Then, okay, you uh, shift from buongiorno to buonasera. First of all, before talking about buonasera, remember this sound, j, j, okay, j, that's also a very particular sound, okay, j, in the phonetic alphabet you write it like this, okay, buon j, j, giorno, giorno, j, j, similar to the sound journey, journey in English, okay, in that case it's written like a j, all right. Well, let's go on, so, buonasera, buonasera, first part is almost the same, we have this a, okay, that we didn't have before, Buona sera. Buona sera translates obviously good evening. Okay, you say it uh, at the moment when you arrive, um, as well as buongiorno too. It's very seldom, uh, it's very rare that you say that when you go away actually. Buona sera. And finally, when it gets later, okay, it gets darker, you say buona notte. Buona notte which is good night, basically, okay, good night. Buona notte. Let's think about, for a moment, uh, let's think about that pronunciation, this double T, okay, this double T. It often happens in Italy, in Italian, to have a double consonant and it drives non-native speakers crazy because they never know when they have to write down the double consonant. Well, the rule is that the consonant, when, when you have a double consonant, the uh, sound is longer. It's also stronger, but the idea is that it is longer. Listen to me now. If I say notte, listen to me, notte, the T sound lasts a bit longer. If the, um, the, the, the T, okay, it wasn't double, double, it would be note. You see? Note, notte. Now I'm emphasizing that. Note, notte. 
in this case one t the other case double t it's important because in this case notte is night okay but with just one t notte means notes okay in music so it's a completely different word okay double consonants can change completely the meaning of the word Buonanotte. Buonanotte is something that we say when we go away most of the times. Buonanotte. Okay, ciao, buonanotte. Uh, in these cases, when you have buon, buona, buon um, in the first part of the word, you can also eliminate it and use a shortened form, which is giorno, sera, notte. Well, you can use it, it's very informal, it's almost slang, so I would suggest to you to use the complete words, okay? But you may, you may hear it and you may also use it if you want, okay? Then let's go on. Um, now, this is, isn't exactly a greeting, uh, but it's uh, uh, used a lot, actually. When we go away, also in English, most of the times we don't say bye or goodbye, we say see you or see ya. Okay, it's more American, see ya. In uh, Italian we say a presto. Uh, I've written here the translation see you soon because presto means soon. Okay, a presto. We can put it together, together, together with ciao, for example. Ciao, a presto. Or, buonanotte, a presto. Or just, a presto. Okay. Uh, another important thing, when you meet someone, especially if you meet them in person, you have to say, nice to meet you, when you shake hands. Okay, nice to meet you, or how do you do? Hmm? In Italian, we just, there are many, obviously, there are many formulas, but the most simple, okay, and most common is piacere, 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 io sono Sara. Buongiorno, piacere, io sono Sara. Buonasera, piacere, io sono Sara. Ok? So, uh, also in this case, you may find again this sound which is ch, same as in ciao. Ciao, piacere. Ch, piacere. You uh, may notice that, or if you, well, I will tell you that, uh, that the sound c, okay, and the sound g, okay, they have two different ways of being pronounced. They can be k or ch. K in every case, ch just when you have an i or an e vowel. So in this case it's, it's ciao and not, and not cow, okay, because you have that i. And also in this case, piacere, you don't have piacere, but piacere, so not a k sound, but a ch sound, because you have an e. So when you have i and e, two vowels, just two vowels, i and e, after a c consonant, that c consonant isn't pronounced k, but it is pronounced ch. The same goes for the G, and you, you already know that, because we have used that here. You didn't even notice. G, here it is. You have an I after that, so you don't pronounce it G, G, hard, but you pronounce it G, buongiorno, and not buongorno, right? So, just for these two consonants, okay, C and G, okay, and when you have these two vowels after them, either I or E, then you change the sound. It's not K but CH, it's not G but J, 
Buongiorno, ciao, piacere. It's very soft. Okay? Now, finally, that's the final word for today, but it's very, probably it's the most common one together with ciao, okay? When you go away from somewhere, anywhere, and you can't use ciao because it's, it's a more formal situation, you use arrivederci, arrivederci, arrivederci. See you, okay? It's not see you soon, you just see you, bye, goodbye. Some people translate that also farewell, but it's a bit strong, okay? It's by, more common. Arrivederci contains a lot of um, pronunciation rules. First of all, you have a double consonant, okay? And that consonant is an R. Well, the R sound is incredibly difficult for no native speakers, especially English uh, speakers or also French, German speakers too, because the R sound is R, R, arrivederci, arrivederci. So you can sound how my, my, my tongue rotates there, R, R, it's not R, 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 but it's absolutely R. It's very strong. Not too strong because if it if it, if it's to emphasize then it will be more Spanish, okay? <laughs> There's a lot of confusion between Spanish and Italian um, as far as foreign uh, people are concerned, non-native speakers are concerned and a lot of but it happens all the time. So when, when I watch movies and uh, people are supposed to be speaking Italian, most of the time they are speaking Spanish. This is quite annoying, especially in America, probably because they are mo more um, familiar with Spanish language for obvious reasons, okay? But it's annoying. Spanish and Italian are two completely different languages. There are sounds in common, something is similar, it's right. I love Spanish, I love Spain, but it's another language, okay? Italian is completely different. So you have to um, use the strong R, okay? But not too strong because then it becomes more similar to a Spanish word. Anyway, R, R. Like my name, okay? My name is Sara, Sara. Sara, not Sarah, but Sara. In this case, the, the R is double, okay? So in this case, yes, I have to emphasize that. Arrivederci. It's not arrive arrivederci, it is arrivederci. Not arrivederci, but arrivederci. Okay? Uh, and the second sound that you already know is the C with a I. You know that it's not K, but it is CH. You already know that. Arrivederci. It's not arrivederci. Okay? Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Ciao, arrivederci. You can use them together. Okay? Or eventually, buonanotte, arrivederci. Okay, arrivederci is very used. It's, it's absolutely used, okay, in every possible situation. Well, I think it's all for today. You know a lot of new words and uh, also the way to pronounce them so you can practice, okay? If you have any questions, I am here for you. So please leave me a comment below. I will be glad, absolutely glad to answer to uh, give you more information and if you have specific requests I'll try to make videos following your requests. Obviously I'll start from a very very uh, elementary level as you have seen here today and we'll go up together and we'll go on together and you will be able to speak a little bit Italian okay following the course. Thank you so very much for following for watching. If you like the video please thumbs up as always, okay, and uh, subscribe to my channel if you like it and if you want to follow this course and share if you think that other people would like to learn Italian language. Grazie!
ok? Thank you, grazie mille, thank you so much, ok? Grazie, grazie mille, ok? Grazie mille, arrivederci e a presto, see you soon, ciao!